Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Elson Cruz. Welcome back for Madness Returns. Looks as though we found ourselves once again in the asylum, which does not bode well. They put us in a straitjacket and they shaved off all our hair. But they did leave the door open, so that was oddly considerate of them. <laughs> they knew it'd get hot in here, so I guess we can go walk out over here and confront whatever evils that await us because it appears as though there's something worse than the Queen of Hearts. And it's. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that's fantastic. So, we have to find out who this mysterious conductor is. Oh. It looks like reality is somehow meshing with fantasy. I mean, just look at this. This is this does not look normal for an insane asylum, even though that art in itself is a bit of an overstatement. So it's kind of weird as if those two actually, they brought it down from the stairs over there, but man, this is depressing. I hate like stories about people who get locked up in this asylum, especially in like the 60s. And this takes place in the late 1800s, so. Oh man, so let's go ahead and experience a nice little flashback show. If it isn't what's her name from the idiot's ward. Yeah, it's Alex. Uncle Fry's lunatic. The instruments are gruesome, but a hole in the head gives the troubles more space. Just the thing for your stone of madness. Good for seizures too, maybe. You must be as sick of those as I am hearing you whinge about them. Wow, oh jeez. So something changed here all of a sudden. That's not good. Damn. Let's get out of here, shall we? So in this part, I'm hoping to accomplish in finishing the fifth chapter of Madness Returns, and there's kind of a lot to go with that. And I'm I'm probably looking to change up my style here a little bit. Instead of just playing for hours and not having intros and stuff, I might start actually making portions from my recording Some sessions. Some mental conditions are relieved by bloodletting. Doctor thinks it won't be effective against your symptoms, but I am at the end of my tether, and these leeches need the work. A baker's dozen, nurse. Let me put them on her. No, me, me. I can make them hurt. Of course, you can't have an Alice story with that Tweedledee and Tweedledum, but of course, geez, look at this. Look at all this blood. Like, it just makes you kind of wonder sometimes if this stuff actually did happen in the way that it's being presented to us. Because here it looks relatively normal, at least until we go through I the know. Which one. Way's up and which way's down. I was gonna say... No prayers. Don't interrupt. If I can't... Go to the laboratory. Maddening. Yes, you are. But what am I? I'll give you... A present? You should have. I've nothing for you. What cat? Where? Is the fox among the pigeons? Slide him. Move out of the hen house then. What, what? Huh, that's interesting. That is interesting. It's like, it's fascinating. I don't know. But we're slowly walking through and now we can head off to the waiting room. Maybe this will add some answers when we need the most. Come now, Alice. Am I not to be as much honored and obeyed as the queen? Is that asking too much? I want what she wanted. Give yourself over to that. Trade the tentacles for the train. It's altogether a better ride. It's that or back to Rutledge. Ever a kind word or reward for services rendered. Don't I deserve a bit of luck? Don't pay so much right now. And to me, I say, brought you out of the asylum. Now you go. Go back on your own accord. I told your mother, dear, you're a distant and stubborn child, too content in her own world. Young women need to leave their wonderlands. The real world is not so wonderful. You need to grow up. Perhaps some more time in care. You look decent enough, but appearances deceive. I know you're for an unstable and violent person. I can't say I'm surprised you've been incarcerated in the asylum again. A long stay under supervision would serve you right. But I don't want to stay in supervision. This place sucks. Did you see what they did to us? God, that would suck living in this era where they thought that, like, leeches would suck the bad blood out of you. Oh, man. But now we're walking through a black and white area. <laughs> and this is, this is a little bit, uh, oh, God. What is wrong with your face, man? Are you okay? We need to take you somewhere where they'll take care of you, man. So we're going to just have random patients about and eh, oh jeez look at him he's just waiting there for nothing he's waiting for us to leave apparently few maxims oh never mind so now apparently we're in victorian london but our hair is back 
and it's like we never left because I can't jump or do any of my special moves and we're not in Wonderland. So basically just, just follow the lampposts because those are going to take you where you need to go. It's fantastic stuff. What is this? Majora's Mask? Eh, I don't know. But uh, fortunately we will be returning to Wonderland soon and that is to uh, take care of the doll maker that we've heard so much about. And you know, there's a couple of interesting things there. Not my favorite area in the game by any means, but it's it's still fairly interesting and probably where I'm going to miss help, most of the collectibles. We need your help. Don't desert us. Again, don't ignore us. Why do you suffer? The queen's tyranny is just a memory. She has no power over you, does she? Our enemies come and go, but now a new evil reigns, and this fiend's malevolence has eclipsed the conquered queen. That is not creepy at all. <sighs> Sorry I had to go like this, Chucky, but, you know, your last three movies just sucked balls. Actually, I didn't like any of them. But uh, to the fiery house we go, and for some reason we are instantly transported to... Come on, come on, come on. <coughs> oh, God, that was weird. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting to sneeze there. It kind of just snuck up on me. Anyway, here we are in the dollhouse, which is... Uh, Kind of an interesting place, like I said. I'm wearing the misstitched outfit, which actually, you know, allows Shrink Sense to stay active a little bit longer, and this is the default that the game would have for us. And since there's not a lot of combat here, I figured I might as well just go with what Wonderland decides, especially considering this is one of the last chapters of the game. One of the last technical chapters, I should say, but it's good. It's not it's not too bad, I suppose, and it looks it looks nice. It just it just looks like a Frank uh, Franklin Frankenstein amalgamation of <laughs> many different dresses. So yeah, the dollhouse, if you know, as dollhouses would permit, you can actually, you know, change them out and like, you know, change the exterior and interiors of them. They're like customizable and stuff. That's kind of where this area gets a little bit annoying is the sense that, you know, you got like homemade hand stitched things and just it looks kind of just childish but slummish at the same time. But it's, it's confusing because, you know, areas will change, there's a lot of switches and levers we gotta pull, and it's kinda, it's just confusing to me, so I'll probably end up missing a bunch of crap here, so I, I apologize for that in advance, that, you know, I've missed something in every single chapter so far, this should be absolutely no exception, so, yeah, it's gonna be fun stuff, so if you fall down, you just have to go back over into that house where we got the bottle. And then that would be fun stuff. What's in here? This is, okay. Don't want to go in there quite yet because there's actually another bottle on the roof. I do believe. Oof! Actually, hit the bottom of the roof there. Oh, it's not a bottle. Toys are to children. Children often are to grown-ups. Objects of fancy and imagination, and eventually discarded. This is true. Cho toys are to children as ob objects are to adults. I suppose. <laughs> Yeah, very humble words of wisdom there, Mr. Radcliffe. Or was that Radcliffe? I don't remember. I forgot. They look so weird in their real-life counterparts. I really like the like paper mache bits of them. So, okay, there was another path over there. If you screwed up, or if you just want to go this way to grab the bottle, then you can go this way. So that's good. It doesn't even seem like it stays that much longer. Later on in the game, these don't stay as visible for nearly as long. So here are our levers. Here are our, our levers. Let's go pull your Mr. Eyeball Man. God, it's like weird. Just look at like, hmm, just something about this area is just like fascinating to me. Like it just looks cool, but I don't know. That's just me. Anyway, we actually almost have enough to upgrade our next weapon. That's pretty cool. I'll probably just hold on to it for a little bit longer. We got some eye chairs there, eye teapots and stuff. So yeah, while there is not a lot of combat in this area, we do find a couple of new enemies, which are a little bit annoying, I'm not going to lie. Not the biggest fan of them in the world, but, you know, I'm not going to complain because, you know, there's nothing too wrong with them. But I don't like them. <laughs> if you hated the porcelain baby faces, then you'll probably hate these guys, so. Alright, and this is to lead us somewhere else, I believe, because if we go through that hole over there, I think that's number C or dollhouse C or something, it's really weird, then you just go through here. Actually, I want to see what's in there. I never have taken this area because I always get the pigs out there. Um, yeah, there's actually a few collectibles in this area, and there's not really, it's not that bad. Oh, this is just to skip the pig snout. I don't know why you'd want to do that. But, um, hope I got something on Twitter. Something weird on Twitter. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, somebody's following me, I think is what it says. I hate how my phone gives me stupid notifications like that and, like, emails and stuff. It's like, no emails, please. <laughs> Alright, so here we've got the Jabberwock. If you guys recall from the first game, he was the biggest dick in the world. And he was not very fun to watch or fight. I think I actually glitched him. Like in a botched recording, I glitched it and I actually beat him. 
Did I, um, I'm trying to remember if I died in Alice, because I think I can get through the rest of this without dying, just if I'm a little bit careful, so. Alright, Mr. Cheshire Cat, what do you got to say? Seek and you shall find, they say, but they don't say what you find. This is very true. I don't know who they are, but, uh, whatever. Anyway, we've got gingerbread walls here of death. So, something interesting, I guess, um... I, I don't. Th I didn't start talking about this. I think, um, but I, I finished off Kingdom Hearts a little while ago, and I don't know if I told you guys, but I'm kind of unpleased with the way it turned out. Like I had fun recording it, and you know, it turned out to be a decent, what, 65 parts long. But something about how I went about doing it is just I don't know. I don't really like the way it turned out. So I think when I'm done with this game, instead of starting Killer's Dead, which if I did start it, you guys would have probably seen it by now, considering how far in advance I've been recording then, I don't know, I've just been kind of like in this weird phase, like I need to change something about like my style or something just to kind of, you know, get my bearings straight because I don't think people are really enjoying stuff and it's just, I keep recording things, you know, all at once and I don't know, I don't know, it's kind of one of those things that actually got them. Ooh, no, oh, press right bumper much. Ooh, there it is, alright, die please. Die, 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 thank you. Right, and go kill this asshole. So I think just to kind of keep things on the safe side, I might just end up doing Shadow of the Colossus later, but I might just take a slight break. I might make a video and describing that later because there's a lot of things I kind of want to talk about. And it's so dumb because the ending music for uh, Kingdom Hearts, when I played it, and I uploaded it to be scheduled to be released, I think, on the 15th of December, which is like two months, almost a month and a half. But um, it, it was so dumb because... Um, just, I don't know, the, the music they used in the very first, uh, the very first, in the introduction, wow, thank you for that, you're really making it difficult for me to talk, the music they used in the introduction got flagged for copyright, and so I can't, like, dispute it, because that would be really dumb, okay, can you just die, please, please, and thank you, alright, and he's dead now, alright, there, thank you, god damn, so yeah, I don't know, I might have just have to overlap that one bit, oh, Jesus, Christ, what's wrong with your face, man? The unstable are more than merely mad. They have other parts. The Dollmaker will deprive them of what remains of their deranged soul. They need care. I know their pain. I would assist, but is sanity required for the job? A limited quantity. You're not yeah. mad enough to be rejected. You're like them. Of them, in a way. But not them. I should say, not us. For I'm them, but you're on your way. The way is clearly marked. I believe I know that way, and I'd rather not travel further along it. You see, you did with <laughs> Get inside. Wow. So, we see the demented kids again from the first game, and we've got a new enemy, ladies and gentlemen. I am somewhat unpleased to present to you the doll girl. Now, she's kind of a cunt, I'm not gonna lie. This, this girl's an asshole, and she's gonna come at you with scissors, and that's not very fun. But we can go take care of her porcelain ass. God, something about these guys just really are not not very fun to watch. Oof, get out of here. Get your kitty. It's I would recommend just probably spamming teapots at her. Because that's it's not really that difficult as long as you keep your distance and you're just constantly, you know, degrading her shields. But you know, she has her temper tantrum. She's naked right now, so. <laughs> yeah, they, they even drew a little butthole on her. Well not a butthole, just I guess the the what is that thing called? The intergalactic cleft or whatever. <laughs> Something like that. There's a name for the ooh, for the two pieces of the skin there, and he's almost dead. I just don't want to get in close because I know I'm gonna get owned here pretty soon. So ooh, there you go. There you go. Oh, God, of course you have to. It's better to attack like right when she's attacking you. Clearly, all right. This should be the last one. So ooh, there it is. All right, cool. Oh, not dead yet. So can we just kill you? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So doll baby face, you're dead. And of course, we can go to the frog's way, which is uh, located in the crack in between the legs of a small doll baby. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but if we head over here, there's just stuff. There's a lot of stuff in this area before we head off. So we'll be seeing those demented kids again briefly, which is kind of unusual. They brought them back, and there's actually girls, uh, contrary to Bobby, really. <laughs> Um, there weren't girls in the first one, I believe, which is kind of an interesting little facet. Is this just a bottle? There's a lot of bottles here. A bottle for Alice. It's like such a weird collectible, like out of all things. You'd think it'd be something like her, like her uh, teddy bear or something. Or her rabbit teddy bear or whatever the hell. But I don't know. 